Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm glad you joined me today. So for today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something I've never really done before making a video of this. Um, so recently I went to a couple of thrift shops and picked up some things and usually when I pick up some home decor items I always kind of tweak them, make them um, more my style, make them a little bit more how I like them. So I have a few items that I wanted to just give a little facelift and I figured I would take you along and show you um, how I updated the I these items for our home. So I hope you enjoy this video and maybe um, get a few tips on some items that you see in the thrift store that are not really your style but you can always paint them, change them up to make them more pleasing in your home. so this is the first piece that I found just a nice clear um, glass container like a vase I guess yeah anyways so we're gonna do something with this um, can't wait to see how this one turns out and here is the next piece that I got it's um, a little pumpkin for like this time of year fall and um, I really like how it looks actually just the way it is, but I think we're going to dress it up just a little bit and see if we can't um, update it a little bit. And then I found these uh, cute little clear glass, um, just some mugs, and um, I found these for 59 cents a piece, and I thought we could do something fun with these, just make them a little more festive, um, get them ready for some hot cocoa this uh, winter time so we're going to do something on these as well so and then the last piece that I have um, is actually not clear glass <laughs> um, I just realized everything that I have here is clear glass um, but the last piece is a big wood frame that we are going to uh, be redoing and making into something else all right let's get started so for the first one we're going to work on this cute little pumpkin and basically what I had thought I would do is just give it kind of a painted, the dipped look. So we're going to start off with using some painter's tape and just tape off down here at the bottom. Um, probably like a third of the way up or yeah, however I think looks <laughs> looks about right. Alright, and while that is drying, we're going to dive right on into the next one, which is this one. And what I had in mind for this is, again, we're going to paint it, but I want it uh, more of a stone finish. And I'm going to try it using these two right here. Um, this is the color that I want it to be when it's done. And then this one here is the stone one, and this is basically just for the texture. Um, so we're going to get our texture with this and then finish it off with this color here. So let's go do this one as well.
And while that one is drying, I had designed these cute little snowmen that I thought would be adorable on these little clear mugs. So we're gonna go ahead and send them over to my Cricut machine and get all the different colors cut out. Alright, so now I have all my pieces cut for my little snowman. Um, you probably can't tell them, and I did some extra of the little buttons in the eyes because they're so small and I'm going to lose a few. So we are going to just cut around um, the vinyl that we used and then start weeding everything. I did also end up cutting out some little snowflakes in like a metallic silver that I put on around the cups, and I didn't have any permanent vinyl in that silver so I know the snowflakes won't stay on you know after washing the cups you know several times they'll start to come off because it's just um, a regular vinyl so if you want to do this definitely use permanent vinyl and it'll stay on a lot better um, I would definitely recommend only hand washing but um, yeah they should last you throughout the winter Alright, so next we are going to just cut out one of these little snowmen and I'm actually going to cut the little um, twig off of the original snowman because I have a different one that's a little bit bigger and I like the look of it a little bit better. So we're just going to take that one off and then we're going to get our cup in and being this is just one big sticker we are just going to put it on and just kind of placing it where we think we want it like that all right next we're going to be placing the little top hat and just kind of placing them where the other ones were all right so we got that now why don't we go ahead and place the little scarf and just kind of placing it um, wherever it makes sense to us here. Something like that. This may be a little bit of a challenge here, but we're gonna try our best. Um, if nothing else, you could just use like a Sharpie marker or something maybe to add in the eyes and the mouth, especially the mouth. Um, see, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get that on there with the little stickers or if they'll even stay for that matter once, once you get them on. Go ahead and add our little carrot. I think actually I'm going to go ahead and just use a Sharpie for um, 
with the mouth. I actually think it looks really cute this way. Um, let's see if we can do the buttons at least. Now we're going to go outside and start painting again. I'm going to paint this big frame and the spray paint that I'm using right now, I was almost out of this white, but I wanted to try to get at least, you know, a nice coat of this on being it had the primer in it as well, just to get it nice and primed. And so I, yeah, finished up two bottles that were almost empty to um, get it mostly covered. And then um, I did end up going over it with my... Uh, trim paint if you remember when I redid my front porch the door I painted um, the trim in a marshmallow color if you haven't seen that video I'll try to link in the description for you to go back and watch that but this is the color that I had used for the trim it's in the sample paint that I had gotten to try out for the front door And then I went ahead, after I had painted the pegboard that I put inside, I went ahead and put a bead of some wood glue all the way around the perimeter of the frame, put it in there along with these nails, um, putting them in the side of the frame just to keep the pegboard in place. And this will be going down in my Etsy shop, my office area. Um, it's I've been wanting a pegboard down there for a while just to kind of organize some things. Um, so I think this will work great. And now I am just measuring where I want the sawtooth hangers. I wanted them to be in the stud of my wall for sure. So I did some math and I figured out where I need the sawtooth hangers on this frame um, to make it center in the wall, but still I can put the screws in the studs and it'll be very secure. So the hangers are not going to be in the center, you know, centered out on the frame at all. But once I go to hang it up on the wall, it'll be nice and centered and straight. And then I went ahead and measured from the bottom of the frame up to the sawtooth hanger. Um, so that way I know exactly what my measurement needs to be up on the wall in the Etsy shop. So now I can take that measurement and I want to add about four inches to that measurement because um, I want it up off the craft table a little bit. So I'm going to add four inches onto that measurement and then that is where my screw needs to go. And then I had previously of course found the stud so I know exactly where I need to put my screws. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then all that's left to do is just to hang this up and hope we have all the right measurements and everything hangs straight. Um, it turned out pretty good in the end. And yeah, I think I will use this thing just to organize some of my Cricut tools and just, yeah, craft tools and things like that. I think it'll come in handy and it's pretty big, so it'll work out fine. And I'm not exactly sure on this color on the inside. I did a different color for the pegboard. Not sure that I like it. I'm going to leave it for a little bit. Um, I may just come back and paint it all white. That way um, everything just kind of blends together. We'll see. For now it's good and I'm going to go ahead and just hang up this, this iron piece that I had on top before. I'm just going to hang it on top just to give it a little more height. And now here is how all my thrift flips turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to know.
so that is going to be it for today and I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe got some tips for yourself. All right, I will see you next time. Bye.